Hi, my name is Matt. I'm with the OptiScience customer success team, and I wanted to take a little bit of time here and show you how to configure a nested playlist with an OptiScience. A general use case for the nested playlist would be if you had a global organization with a common playlist across all of your sites, and then you needed to add some regional specific content, you could configure that utilizing nested playlists. Uh, in this example, we'll use a regional specific holiday. We'll use Memorial Day, show you how to configure playlist nesting. So the first thing is of course, to log into your OptiScience web portal, app.optiscience.com and go to the playlists tab. I've got a couple of playlists already made here, but I'll give you a brief rundown of how to configure that. Uh, you'll notice on the right-hand side of the screen, you actually have a reflection of your files and assets page where all of your files and assets are listed. You simply need to drag and drop the content from your files and assets to your playlist and set those custom durations. I'm gonna change this calendar duration to five seconds here. And then we're gonna go ahead and pre save it and preview the asset. So now that we're previewing the playlist, this calendar should display for five seconds. At the conclusion of that five seconds, it'll switch to our video content as it should. Now, in the instance that we need to use playlist nesting, what we actually do is we configure another playlist. So this playlist would play globally. And then for all of our US based locations for this example, we have three slides here pertaining to the Memorial Day holiday. So what we can do then is in our main playlist, we can take our playlist that we desire to nest and go ahead and nest it within that playlist. You'll notice that the duration here is set to 30 seconds. It pulls the duration directly from the settings in the main playlist. So if I was to, for example, change this last asset to 15 seconds and save it, the overall time for the nested playlist now goes up to 35 seconds. Then we can go ahead and preview this asset. And just like before, the calendar will play for its assigned five seconds at the conclusion of which the nested playlist will begin. The nested playlist will play each of its assets for their full duration and then switch back to the next piece of content within your main playlist. And that is the gist of configuring nested playlists within OptiScience. There's lots of various use cases for nested playlists. They can make managing your playlists a lot easier and it allows for a more robust configuration um, across the board. If you have any issues or questions with configuring nested playlists, you can always reach out to the support team at support at OptiScience.com or with the little green help buttons in the bottom corner of the web portal. Thank you.